It's me, Mario! Hello! Hey everybody, it is your very best friend in the world, Preston. Um, I am by myself today. Um, Ton is, uh, had a week off for his birthday. Happy birthday, Ton. And uh, he and his partner, Miranda, uh, are in uh, Montana, where Ton is from. He's mentioned it on the show before. Um, so, with everything going on in the holidays, uh, coming up, happy Honda days, by the way, um, I thought it would just be easier to, uh, sort of, um, uh, just do a few episodes by myself, um, and, uh, that way we don't have to worry about cramming stuff in. The holidays are always tough. Uh, or I shouldn't say always, they were tough last year and they've proven to be tough this year again because we, the entire month of December almost, we do an upload every day. Um, which means there's a lot of stuff to coordinate. Um, a lot of artwork that Ton needs to do. Um, he's got another, a new series coming out on Ton Can't Play, um, uh, which will start next week. Um, and, uh, he needs to make a thumbnail for that, and it's just a lot of work to do, so... Um... I just thought it would be easier for everybody if uh, I just did some episodes by myself, so... Just like the last time I played Super Mario 64 on my own, I... I'm not gonna go to do anything new, um, without Ton, because that's not fun. Um... Instead, I'm just gonna revisit some... some spots that we've already been to and uh, collect some stars that I've missed. So here we are in Jolly Roger Bay, trying to get this jet stream. I remember when we were on the stage last time, I couldn't figure out what I was supposed to do to get that star. I think I'm just really just supposed to just like take a dive in there and make it happen. Or maybe I'm supposed to grab onto the eel? I can't remember. I'm gonna try and just get in there. No, I can't. Uh, oh, turtle shell. I know I tried that last time and it didn't work. <laughs> but let me try it again. Uh, I hope everybody's having a really nice holiday. Um, I, I've... i kind of made this observation this year that because for the past... It seems like for the past, like, de decade or so, um, there has been this push to make the holiday season, oops, more inclusive, um, which it should be. Um, but, you know, that's, there's, um, that's sort of where they're, like, saying happy holidays instead of saying Merry Christmas. Uh, comes in, um, you know, because saying Merry Christmas excludes people who don't celebrate Christmas, who have other holidays that aren't being acknowledged. And, um, it feels like th this year, uh, maybe a little bit last year, but really this year, and I think it, I think because of um, because of Donald Trump and one of the <laughs> there's sort of this thing that he has sort of pushed of of like bringing Christmas back and and I say Merry Christmas and it's going to be okay to say Merry Christmas in this country again and then there's and now so like the other side of that now is that all these people are like we never said that you couldn't say Merry Christmas and. Uh, there's a... I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm gonna try and grab onto the eel, see if that does something. Um, I don't even know if I can grab onto the eel, if I'm being honest. I need some air, though. Um, yeah, so... It, it's interesting to me, because I felt like... Yeah... There were people, for sure, who 
we're saying not that you can't say Merry Christmas, but that you shouldn't say Merry Christmas. You know, when you're, especially when you're in a situation where you're like greeting people. Oh, I don't think this is good. I can't even grab on in the water. Um, you know, like if you're in customer service or if you are a, 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 like a media personality, that it's better in America because I've been watching. Here's another sidebar to that thought. I've been watching the great British bake show, bake off, excuse me. Um, and they are Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Everything is Christmas. No holiday. I mean, every once in a while, though, if they're doing just like a vague sort of like theme where it's just something kind of wintry or decembery, they'll say, oh, a holiday whatever it is, you know, holiday cake, you know, when they're going for something generic, but they make no qualms whatsoever about saying Christmas or uh, talking about Christmas. Um, and we don't do that so much here in America now in our media it's more it's more just holiday stuff right unless something's talking about somebody's talking about their personal experience if you have a personal anecdote I feel like it's like you know when we get together for Christmas because that's your thing you do Christmas and that's fine um and it's just fascinating to me because I've I personally felt like I and I'm not in no way, shape, or form am I, like, with the, the like, war on Christmas. Like, I don't believe that that's a thing. I don't think that's real. I believe that the holiday times should be inclusive. But, as, a, as an observer, it did feel like, to me, like, it, those of us who are, you know, it, have a mind to, to think, in this way it was yeah no it's not Merry Christmas now it's Happy Holidays we're gonna say Happy Holidays um because that's better for everybody and I thought that we had all agreed that that was gonna be the way it was <laughs> um except for the people who were like really hard like no it's Christmas it's gotta be Christmas and then they'll say like they'll wish you a Merry Christmas but in a way that's like pointed like, I'm also kind of of the mentality that, like, if you, if Christmas is your thing, and you just, like, see someone on the street and you're like, hey, Merry Christmas, like, it's, you're well wishing, and, like, I think that's okay, I guess, as long as you don't get upset if someone w wishes you, like, Happy Hanukkah or something, you know what I mean? Like, you can't have it both ways you know what I mean like you can't argue that no we have to be able to say our thing but then get upset if someone else says their thing to you you know what I mean like because I, I feel like there are people that I encountered excuse me back home where it's a much more traditional environment I would say like almost I would say puritanical in some ways old world sort of mentality um conservatism not republican necessarily but more conservative if that makes sense like there's no need to change things that aren't broken <laughs> that we don't view as broken I'm on a tangent but um you know that there are people who would as a rebuttal to what they perceived as being, like, tone police, if they said Merry Christmas, would say Merry Christmas to you in a way that was like, I am gonna say it. Oh, I just said Merry Christmas. What are you gonna do? I have to look up what the fuck is with this jet stream. It's been so long since I've played this and I have no idea. Um, so I'll just talk while I do that. <sighs> Where was I? There's been so many tangents. Um... So this year, it's it seems like those same people now are coming back with like no one told you you couldn't say Merry Christmas, say Merry Christmas if you want, but you know don't get upset if someone else says 
their thing, Happy Hanukkah or, or what have you. Um, and that's interesting because I, it just, it, it didn't feel like that was what it was to me. Um, and, uh, I don't know, I guess that's cool. You know, like it's, I don't want to tell people they can't say Merry Christmas, but it is sort of this, how it interesting, how, how it's, it's almost flipped, right? Like, um, uh, because now it's like, I don't know. I wonder if it's like an unconscious tactic that, um, like uh um you know it, like you you we push for so hard for inclusivity that it got under the skin of the people who were being sort of accused of not being inclusive enough or not speaking in a way that was inclusive and to the point where it's affected their consumerism. Starbucks a few years ago, they started doing the like generic holiday cups instead of the Christmas cups. They're like wintry cups rather than Christmassy and stuff like that. P- businesses are, are, are recognizing that there is a movement of a great population of this country of the world who feel that things should be all inclusive and not just directed at, mainstream stuff. Christmas is very mainstream in America and businesses are like, well, we need to like include everybody. And then the people who are being affected by that are the people who love Christmas or who celebrate Christmas. And they're like, they feel like you're taking something away from them. And that, and that pushed so far that now that they're like in this like fervor about it, we're, we're whatever. It's just almost like gaslighting, right? Like the, now the people who are who are the progressives who are pushing for the inclusivity are like, well, we never said that you couldn't say Merry Christmas. But that's kind of cool because when you have something that's like so far one way, so exclusive, so like you know, in this situation, very Christian, and not recognizing other religions or other cultures and then you push to like almost completely wipe that from your like um from your from your pop language right like because now over the past few years like it's transitioned to a point where very few people in media will say christmas consumerism is all holiday stuff pop culture is holiday stuff not Christmas. And so now we've gotten that. And now we're going back and be like, okay, now that that's settled, you can say Merry Christmas. Like no one is going to stop you from saying Merry Christmas, but acknowledge that in your pop consumerism stuff, it's everybody is involved. You can say Merry Christmas. And we all recognize that that just means like, you hope everything is cool with me. You want me to have a nice holiday. But like, but I don't know, there's like a twist because it it is the Christian thing, because a lot of people are upset that Metal Mario, jumping the platforms across the ship and see Metal Mario, but okay, it was right there in front of me the whole time, Um, you know, because they feel like it's, it's making Christmas or Christmas time secular. And, you know, from a religious standpoint I can see how that would be upsetting um and we see that in a bunch of religions right like we see that in um in the uh and reflected in like the Muslim world too because they get very upset um uh, when uh uh Abraham? Abraham? I can't think of who, like, the the prophet of Muslim is. Of Islam, I guess I should say. Or Muslim religion. I don't know. I'm, I'm speaking out of turn because I'm only half focused on what I'm saying, but whoever their figurehead is, they get very upset when they're turned into 
an icon. Um. Okay, there's supposed to be a Metal Mario box over here. Oh wait, I passed it. I completely fucking passed it. It's right there. Oh, did I not do it yet? Is that why? Ooh, I might not be able to do this one just yet. In which case, I'm probably gonna redo this episode. I'll just go a little bit long. Um, bit, bit, bit. Yeah, all right, I can't do this one yet. I need to do Hazy Maze Cave. I have to stop moving so I can quit. There we go, exit. Um, Hazy Maze Cave is where the Metal Mario thing uh, starts. So, going back there. Um, yeah, it, it, it's, sorry, it, it, I've been so ranty, but it's a very complicated issue. Um, you know, because I can, I want to respect people's religions. Much as I don't subscribe to them, I understand that they're important to people and and that in many ways they're they can be a very good thing. You know, like um But also like, you know, we just can't be we're not a religious we're not a uh 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 <laughs> Harry, this is what I need. Alright, where's my metal Mario baby? Uh, I think it's that way. Um, I forgot what I was saying completely. Anyway, that's just an observation that I had uh, this year in the holidays. Um, whoops. I find it fascinating. Um, and you know, like I said, my stance is. You know, you do your thing, but, like, you, your thing shouldn't infringe on anyone else's thing, you know? Um, we're not a Christian nation, that's what I was trying to say. Um, that m may be the, the predominant religion practiced in the country, but fundamentally this nation is not meant to, God damn it is not meant to be uh, a the theistic, uh, a religious-based state. You know, we have freedom of religion, which means that everybody should be able to uh, practice whatever their thing is. And you do you, baby. But, you know, when our, when our media is all one way, and there's a whole section of people who aren't being included, and that is when things need to sort of be addressed. Metal Mario, where are you now? How do I get you? Where is the thing? Where is Metal Mario? I don't know. Do you? Do you know where is Metal Mario? Oh. I'm not trying to spend hours on this, so. Okay. I figured it out. Totally cool. Let me just restart my timer here. Not that it matters. Um, I am in the right place, but. There is a special zone. I forgot there's like a special like zone to go into to activate the metal caps. Oop. Okay. And we're doing this. And there we go. And I have to go this way. Um Yeah. So in in summation, some resistance. Like, whatever you're doing, like, just be cool to other people, you know? That's, that's the only thing, like... If you're... If your religion is so tied up in... Um... 
in like your Starbucks cup, like I'm sorry, like you need to reprioritize. <laughs> Gonna be honest with you. I fucked up. I fucked up real bad. I have to, I have to get over there. Oh no, I didn't fuck up. I just have to do this without the cap now. Ip, 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 ip. There we go. Um, like that's silly to me. Like, I might not be a a super religious person, but I can tell you that like God and Jesus don't care what is printed on your Starbucks cup. They just don't. Um, all right, now I've got Metal Mario caps. And I th guess I just finished this. Ooh. Ooh. The star is probably over here. I think there's a star in here. And then I need to use the metal cap to get it. Fuck. It um. Oh god. Oh god, it's happening. Oh. Thank you. Now I can just go. This way. Excuse me. Oh. I guess I have to get the red coins in here. Maybe? Or is it that? I bet it's that. Yeah, baby! Give it here. Oh. That wasn't a star at all. What the fuck am I doing in here? What the fuck are we doing in here, even? I can't go back. Maybe it is. I guess it is just the red coins. Scoop, 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 scoop. This, yeah. Yeah. There we go. All right. Well, we finally did it, and oh, I got a secret star. All right. Uh, so on the next episode, we're gonna go back to Jolly Roger Bay, and uh, we'll get that goddamn Jet Spring scar. All right. Bye, everybody.